Ladies and gentlemen, WordPress Gutenberg is almost here. So today when I logged into my website, I noticed that there was an update and this update pretty much is a step towards uh, the new Gutenberg editor. So it's just, it's just giving us a chance to sort of like play around with it and get familiar with it. So for those of you that use WordPress, you can't avoid this because this is the direction that WordPress is taking. So for those of you that don't know what Gutenberg is, it's just a editor that um, WordPress has updated or upgraded to. So it pretty much replaces the way the editor looks like at the moment. So this editor is very, very important because this is the direction that WordPress is taking. So in this video, I'm going to do a, an overview of how this editor works just to help you get started with Gutenberg. Right, so before we begin, I would also like to say do not update a live production website. Uh, because this might mess a few things because this is not the final version. So I would say uh, set this up on a local uh, WordPress install or a staging website. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Mac. I create marketing and web design tutorials. So if you want to learn how to uh, market your products or services online, or you want to learn how to design your own websites, this is the channel for you, so I suggest that you hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. So before we begin, I'd like to say I have a free course that I'm giving away. This is a WordPress mastery course. So if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, you can go in and sign up for this course absolutely free. Yes, it's 100% free, no strings attached. All you have to do is enroll. The link to do that is in the, in the, is in the video description below. Okay, so I'm just going to go now to my website and give you a walkthrough and show you how Gutenberg works. So the first time you, uh, you come to your website here is you're going to see an update. So this is an update to WordPress 4.9.8. So you want to click on update now. So this is going to download the Gutenberg plugin. So once that is downloaded, this is going to show us the new editor. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of how uh, Gutenberg works. Now, as you can see here, we have some uh, bugs that were uh, fixed, but we don't interested in this because the main thing we want to look at is the actual editor. Great. So if you want, you can go ahead and read all this. Okay, so now when we come to our main dashboard, you'll notice that we have this new message and we have this blue button here which says install Gutenberg. Now, if you don't want to install this, you can always go ahead and click on install classic editor. So because this is all about showing you how to use Gutenberg, I'm going to come over here and click on install Gutenberg. Now, if you want to read more about it, you can always click here for more information. So I'm just going to click here on install uh, the, uh, Gutenberg and then I'm going to activate it. Great, so everything is all uh, activated now. So by default, we have this uh, content here that's added by default onto your page. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is to just uh, take a look at the interface and show you where things are. So right now on the left here, things are pretty much the same. And then here on the top left, this is where you get to add your blocks. So if I click this plus button, we have several blocks. So let's say you want to add paragraph text. This is where you click on paragraph, you can add an image, heading, a gallery, a list of things, a quote, and so on. And then over here, we also have some common blocks. So these are the most common blocks. And if you scroll down here, we have uh, layout elements as well. So we can add buttons, we can add uh, columns, and so on. So this is what this plus, does, plus button does. Now, this arrow here is the undo. So if, let's say, you... Uh, working on your site and you want to uh, undo what you've just done, this is where you click this arrow. And if you click this plus button here, it also gives you an idea of your document outline. Okay, I think this is actually a really cool uh, feature. Right, so over here, this is where you can save this as a draft. You can do a quick preview to take a look at how this page looks like. So let's quickly do that. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab and this is our preview, okay? So back over here, this is where again we can click uh, this button here to publish if we are ready to publish the page. And this gear icon here uh, toggles and gives us more of this editing space, which I think is really, really important because it takes away all that stuff that's distract, uh, distracting you on the right. So if I click this again, it brings this panel, which has even further options for this page. Okay, so moving on, we have these three little dots. If I click here, this gives us the, uh, the visual editor or the code editor. 
okay? So if I click here on the code editor, you can see now, for those of you that want uh, that like using CSS and uh, HTML, so this is where you can come in and add your code, okay? So I'm just gonna flip it back to my visual editor right here. Right, so moving on, we can also see here that uh, we have um, the visibility. Right now, it's set to public. And uh, if we take a look here again below that, it shows us when the, uh, when the page was published. And then further down here, we have the post format. So if I click here, this is where you can uh, get to choose what format uh, this page needs to be or this post needs to be. And here as well, we have stick to the front page. So you can toggle this. Pending review, again, you can toggle this. And over here, this is where you can assign the author of uh, this document or this page that you're working on. Now, further down here, we also have categories. I'm sure you're familiar with this because this is what we had before. So you can always add your category by clicking this uh, add category and assign this page or this post to that category. Now, moving further, you also have tags here and you can also set a featured image. So this makes your page look great uh, when you lay out all your posts. And then over here, we also have the accept and we also have the ability here to allow the comments or to disable them. Great, so pretty much that's all that is to this. But you know what? The fun is in creating content for the page. So what we need to do next is to create a brand new page which doesn't have any content on it, just to give an idea of what the page looks like when it's blank. Right, so I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. Right, so as you can see, this is the beginning. This is where you get to add your title, write your story, and so on. So over here is where you add your title. So to make things easy for me, I'm just gonna use some lorem text. So I'm gonna to go to lorem2 and copy some text. So I'm just gonna copy this and use this as my title. So over here, I'm gonna add my title just like that. So here, write the story, you just click in that and you can copy or type the uh, content that you need to add there. Right, so I'm gonna add my content in here, just like that. But I'll delete that. Right. So what we've done here is we've added a title and also the uh, content that goes with that page. So it's quite straightforward to uh, to use, and I and I'm really really excited about this new editor. So what we're going to do now is to add more blocks. So I'm going to click this plus button. So this time I need to add an image. So I'm going to click here on the image block, media library. So I'm gonna choose the image I'm gonna add in that. So let's go with this one. I'm gonna click on select. So now my image is added. So it's that simple. So every time you wanna add content onto your page, you just come over here to the top right, decide what content it is, and then select it, right? So over here, let's say it's an audio file. You can just click on audio, and then that uh, adds your audio file. If you wanna add, uh, let's say, another paragraph, you just click on paragraph, and then you just add your text over here just like that, okay? And uh, let's say you want to uh, get rid of some of the, this uh, text. All you have to do is to click these three little uh, dots over here. You can remove the block just by doing that. Now, here's the fun part. Let's say you want to stylize this text. So all you wanna do is to uh, click here on this, on this uh, block. And what you notice is over here on the right, you have options to stylize whatever block it is that you're working on. So let's do a few stylizations. So let's style this block. So over here it's selected. As you can see, it has this gray bounding box around it. So let's say I want to increase the size of this, right? So you can see here straight away as I slide, if I click the slider, it's making my text much bigger. So I think this is really, really cool. It's now much easier to use and it's a modern layout. Right, so now that I have this, let's go to our color settings. And I really like the idea here that uh, WordPress is going because you have a color palette and uh, let's try it out. So let's say I wanna add a background color to this. So let's say I'm gonna go with this and straight away you can see here my background color has been added and my text color here, I can change it like that. And we've stylized that paragraph to make it look the way we want it to look. So this is something that we didn't have before and uh, to achieve this, you'd have to use CSS or, yeah, or HTML, okay? You can also reset uh, all this, but for now, I think this is cool. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced. Now, this is where you can add additional CSS for those of you that do web development. Right, so moving on, let's uh, see what we can do here. So if I come over here to this paragraph, 
Again, we also have these options here. So let's say we want to center our text. So you can always come in here and center it. And uh, let's say you want to make some of it bold. So I'm going to highlight some of this text, make it bold, just like that. And uh, let's say you want to add a link. Uh, so all you have to do is to highlight the text, click this uh, chain icon here, paste your URL. So let's add a URL, HTTP colon uh, WordPress Mastery. Okay, so let's say that's our link. You click this arrow to apply. So now this uh, is now a, a hyperlink. So as you can see, everything is within your editor and you can make all these changes much, much easier with this new Gutenberg editor. So I'm really, really excited about this. Right, so let's make further adjustments. So if I come over here, uh, I can align things to, uh, things to the right and uh, I can also change the block type by clicking this uh, icon here. So if I click here, you can see straight away, I can make this a list, subheading, and so on. So I'm going to highlight this text here like that. Click on uh, this change block type. I'm going to go for heading. So now you can see that my uh, block type has been changed to heading. Now that we have this heading, there's also further options. You can choose uh, the heading that you want to use for this. So if I come over here, I can actually select uh, heading three, heading four, heading five, and so on. Okay, so I think this is uh, pretty handy, but you can also uh, do this by uh, choosing it here. So as you can see, the heading three, heading four is also here. Great. Now, the next thing we're going to do here is, of course, we can make this italicized if you wanted to, but you have to make sure that this is selected before you make that change. So that is very, very important. You need to highlight all this and then make the change. Great. So moving on, let's see what else we can do here. So let's say I want to move this block above this block right here. So all you have to do is when you highlight this area here, there's this little arrows. So if I click on move up, you can see now that is moved up. And I think this is really, really handy. Okay. Uh, so let's do this one more time. We have this image here. So if I click this to move up, you can see here that it is moving up. So I really like that. So now let's see what we can do to this image. So if I click on this image here, it also loads some options for us to stylize this image. So if we take a look here on the right, we can actually set the image dimensions. Okay, so right now it's set at 1280 by 800. So we can always uh, play around with this. So let's say you want this at 50%. Uh, so this becomes 640 by 400. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this at um, 1280 by 800. Now, we can also add a hyperlink to this image, okay? So over here, right now it's set to none, but we can say um, custom URL. And for now, I'm just gonna add a blank link, but now this is now hyperlinked, which is great. So image size here as well, you can choose what image uh, this needs to be. Uh, it can be large, it can be medium large, it can be also medium. So let's go, well, let's go for large, okay? So this is like the maximum size, right? And then over here as well, uh, you can add your textual alternative. Now, this is good for usability. So let's say uh, your, image, your images aren't loading up correctly. You can just give it a description here. And so whoever is looking at your website will have an idea of what is in, this, is, is in that area. Okay. And um, pretty much this is what you can do for uh, the image. And over here as well, you can, uh, you can add additional CSS. And uh, oh, uh, if you click here as well, you notice that uh, we can align this uh, centered, left, and so on. And uh, we also have this uh, pencil icon where we can edit the image. So if I click that, it takes you into your media library. So let's say you want to change the size. You can always go into edit image and change that. Okay. And also if you want to change the image, this is where you'd come to, uh, to do that. So if I click on edit image, you can actually choose a different image for that. So let's say we're going to go with this butterfly. Okay, so now that has changed. Right, so I think this is really, really cool. So let's, let's add more uh, blocks and see what options we have for those blocks. So if I click this plus button here, so let's say uh, we want to add um, our layout elements. So let's add two columns. So I'm going to click here on two columns. And on the bottom here, you can see that these are our two columns. So in the first column here, I'm going to add some text. So I'm just going to copy text over here and paste it and then over here I'm going to paste the more text so now we can see that our text is now divided into two columns so this is the process that you go through if you wanted to arrange your text the way you want it so 
And uh, over here as well, you can go in and remove the block. You can edit as HTML, you can duplicate it, and you can add a reusable blocks as well. I'm going to remove some of this because this is a bit too much text. Okay, so that's looking much better. Right, so uh, let's come over here and see what else we can do. So if I click this plus button, we, we have uh, more blocks that we can try out. So let's try the gallery. Okay, so my gallery is loaded here on the bottom. So I'm going to go to my media library and uh, I'm going to choose my images. So let's go with these four images. Click on create new gallery, insert gallery. So that's going to insert all my images. And look how clean that is. I really, really like the way this looks. And I think this is beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is uh, over here to the right while this block is selected, you can see here that uh, we can also adjust our columns. So right now it's set to three. So now it's set to two. And uh, take a look at how things have changed over here. So now we have two columns, which I think is fantastic. Uh, we can also have one column. So now it's one image on top of the other. But um, for this, I would go with... Um, two columns and you can also add links so you can link this to a media file and over here we also have advanced so what I've noticed here is for the advanced tab uh, this appears pretty much on all these blogs so this allows you to add your HTML and CSS now there's one more thing I need to uh, talk about here and that is if you mouse over this uh, block here you, uh, and you leave your mouse there long enough, you notice that you have the, uh, this plus button and this allows you to add your block. So again, this saves you time from going all the way to the top here to add your block. So all you have to do is to mouse over the area, click the plus button, and this gives you, you know, your option to add your block. Now over here on the left, you see this plus button as, uh, as well. So if you click this plus button now, this also gives you what uh, the options of the blocks that you can add. So let's say you want to go with a list of items. You can start adding, you know, the list in there. So let's come over here to our lorem text and uh, let's add our list of items. So for those of you that write a lot and um, um, like to lay out your content in uh, WordPress, you're going to find this really, really exciting. So as you can see, I'm just adding my list of things here and uh, let's say you want to add a title on top of that you can click here and uh, click this plus button add a heading and uh, let's give this a heading title so let's say this is my heading title I can then choose uh, what size this needs to be so let's say it's heading 4 and I want to move it up there so I'm going to click that button there uh, to move it up so as you can see, this area now has already been updated really, really fast. And uh, this new editor is really powerful. And I think this is the right direction for WordPress to take because it just makes it uh, intuitive and also very, very easy to use. But of course, it has a learning curve. And I hope that in this video, I've give, given you a uh, good getting started video on how to use Gutenberg. But pretty much in a nutshell, this is how Gutenberg is going to work. So all the uh, future updates, I think the updates which are going to uh, deal with the incompatibility issues and just making sure that everything is solid before this is actually uh, released to everyone in the WordPress community. So this is just an initial step to uh, WordPress Gutenberg. And I think this is now getting closer to the time they're going to release this. Now, I would go ahead, play around with this on a local uh, WordPress install or even on a staging website. Okay, so that's all I have for you in today's video. And like I said, the, I have a free WordPress course, which you can sign up to right away. The link to that is in the description below. And the link to the theme that I mentioned uh, in this video is also in the description below. So thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification, because by doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.